ever wondered what the difference between baker's yeast and brewer's yeast was well check out this next episode of thirsty thursday and find out Essentially, both brewer's and baker's yeast comes from the Saccharomyces cerevisiae fungus, just from a different version of the species. The only fundamental difference is brewer's yeast contains chromium, a vital vitamin that may aid with, aid with the blood sugar regulation. It's also high in B vitamins, which are necessary for a number of enzymes to function properly. Baker's yeast is another term for the yeast used in the baking of bread and other bakery goods. This yeast comes in a variety of forms including fresh, quick, liquid and active dry. When baker's yeast is combined with sugar it produces carbon dioxide which expands the dough and causes it to rise. Brewer's yeast is made by the removal of yeast after the brewing process and by inactivation of organic acids. There are currently more than 1500 recognized yeast strains. There are two types of brewing yeast, firstly top fermenting ale yeast and most, like, most likely the yeast used accidentally by brewers over 3000 years ago. Top fermenting refers to the yeast's pre preference for raising, rising to the top of the beer as it consumes sugars and creates alcohol, carbonation etc. Ale yeast prefer hotter temperatures to ferment, with most preferring temperatures between 10 degrees centigrade and 21 degrees centigrade. And then we have the Saccharomyces pistorianus, which is a lager yeast that ferments towards the bottom. Bavarian brewers developed and discovered this strain of yeast a little over 200 years ago. Bottom fermentation occurs when the liquid ferments in the bottom of the tank, which is exactly what happens during lagering. Lager yeast loves temperature between 8 to 14 degrees, which is substantially cooler than ale yeast. And that, my friends, is the difference between brewer's yeast and baker's yeast. Thanks for watching.